and welcome back to this week's self-love masterclass. My name is Renee. I'm a self-love teacher, coach, doula, and a Reiki master. And every single week, we come back here to explore new ways to develop our self-esteem, our self-worth, and to create the inner wisdom so we can manifest the life of our dreams. You know, today I wanted to have a real conversation about stress. So sometimes we experience stress when everything feels like it's out of alignment or everything feels like it's going out of whack. And then there are other times when it's just one or two major things that are happening in our life among the many great things that make us feel completely out of line and off balance. So we feel stress not only on a spiritual, mental, and emotional level, but when stress really hits us hard and when it really starts to throw us off balance is when it starts to creep into the physical body. I think it would be really great for us to do a little self-love check-in. Start with the last seven days. How have you been feeling? Check in with how you've been feeling emotionally, how you've been feeling physically, and how you've been feeling spiritually. Are you feeling at peace? Are you feeling happy? Are you feeling rested? Are you feeling energized? Have you noticed any changes in your physical body? any increase or loss of weight, any difficulty sleeping. Maybe, like me, you've noticed a bit of a breakout, so some acne. All of these things are happening on the physical level to let us know that there are things happening on the emotional, spiritual, or you can call all of that the internal level, that really need to be looked at and addressed. You know, the kinds of people who watch my video, and obviously if you're here I'm talking about you, are huge-hearted people, people who are empaths, people who are very intuitive, people who are kind, you know, the kind of people that people count on, rely on, talk to, the kind of people who like to make a difference for others, the kind of people who give very generously of themselves when we're talking about time or money and just attention. And it is people like that who often pay the brunt of the stress or experience the brunt of the stress. And it is simply because we are taking on so much more than most people are. And we're doing it with less time and less energy and less resources. So there are a few things that I really think we ought to take a look at when it comes to stress. And these are things that are important for us to remember. The first thing that we need to remember is that we are responsible for our own happiness and for our own feelings. A lot of times people like us get very stressed because we have an expectation of how we think others should treat us or the way others ought to interact with us. And when that doesn't happen, we feel messed up a little bit like we we feel like something is wrong and not right and that feeling of something being not wrong or pardon me that feeling of something being wrong or not being right creates a lot of resistance within ourselves so what helps is to just really understand that other people are dealing with their own stuff and they've got their own points of view and it's just not very realistic to expect another human being who is still trying to discover their own thoughts and feelings to really have a good handle on your feelings and you know take care of you so very important to just watch your expectations and watch you know how you hand over your power to other people you're responsible for yourself and just don't lose sight of that it will really make a difference the second thing that I really think is helpful to remember is that we are infinite beings, we are not victims. So a lot of time we experience a great deal of stress because we feel like someone else is to blame or our organization is to blame and all of this blaming or faulting is like us taking our power and handing it to something outside of ourselves. 
Remember that every thought and every choice that you and I have made have brought us to this moment in time right here. And when you can really tune into that, it's powerful because you can see, hold on a second, if every thought and every choice I made brought me here, then to get out of here, all I have to do is change my thoughts and change my actions. If you're watching my videos, you're already learning how to do that kind of thing so that you can get yourself out of whatever it is or wherever you are that is making you unhappy or out of the situations or relationships that are making you unhappy. The third thing that I think is really important for us to remember is that in those moments of heightened stress, we can just step back and take a look at the bigger picture. It has us kind of see a few things. So the first is that whatever it is that we're going through right now, whatever it is that is causing us stress in the grand scheme of our entire life, this little thing is probably not going to matter that much. Five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, are you going to be stressed out about that thing that you are talking about right now? And if the answer is no, it's really going to help that stressor to lose its charge. The other thing that's really great about looking at the big picture is that it has you not only see the things that are stressing you out in your life, but it also has you see the things that are really awesome happening in your life or the things that you have to look forward to. So it's no longer just this huge focus on this one thing that is so annoying or so terrible. It's like this one or two things or these things that are happening among the sea of other awesome things that are happening. Now, if you are going through a period of time where there is absolutely nothing that you're looking forward to, or there's absolutely nothing when you look around that makes you happy, then that's actually a flag for you, a red flag for you, that it's time for you to talk to someone. Talk to someone that's a coach like myself, or work with someone that's like a psychologist or a psychotherapist. These people are going to help you to shift your perspective or to do the inner work to really get at the bottom of why your life is the way it is right now and what steps or what things you can do to actually heal and then create a life that empowers you and makes you feel happy. And then the final thing that I sort of want to leave you with is that you are human. You know, I think sometimes we get so caught up in wanting to be so much and do so much for other people that we're hard on ourselves, you know? It's as if we feel like we can just do and do and do and do without really checking in to see if our body can handle it all. We have a human body and even though our consciousness, this you know, essence of who we actually are is huge and just wants to do everything, we have a human body that we have to work with. That means that this body needs sleep, it needs food, it needs water, it needs to be taken care of. And just like you know, when you work with a coach or you work with a therapist, you release the thoughts and the energy from your mind, our bodies also need the energy released from it. So doing things like yoga or, you know, even if you're not into yoga, just like exercise or movement of some kind, dance, making sure that you go and get a massage or maybe even do some Reiki would be so great for your body. It's important that we, you know, do self-care rituals or have self-care routines have time scheduled into our calendars when we do these things because otherwise we just go, 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 go. And before you know it, the body is under a great deal of stress. At the end of the day, we know that stress is not something that we can avoid, but that doesn't mean that we have to put up with the demands that other people place on us or other people's projections, their energy that causes us to get overwhelmed and stressed. We are responsible for our health and well-being. We are responsible for our own lives. And it is up to us to love ourselves so deeply that the people around us cannot help but treat us 
any less than the way we treat ourselves. And sometimes that means that we have to make some tough decisions. Maybe there are other things that need to be done beyond just knowing these five things. But what I feel like I know for sure is that when we're following our hearts and we're tuning into ourselves, we will never be led astray. So always listen to yourself. And again, if you need help doing that, work with someone. Don't do it on your own. You are not alone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really enjoyed it and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that. The videos come out every Tuesday and Saturday, and now we've got additional vlogs happening too. And if you like other social media platforms, all of my links to those platforms are down below, and I'd love to have you, you know, be with me on Instagram or on Snapchat or Twitter. All right, so I think this is it for the video. Thank you so much for being here, and remember, we are in this together.